Are you a renter in California? Your rights may have grown under a new law, the Tenant Protection Act of 2019. Everyone deserves to have a safe, affordable, healthy place that they call home. But that doesn't mean we always get what we deserve, especially when a handful of corporate landlords and the politicians they pay for place their profits above our basic human needs. That's why tenants across California came together to pass the Tenant Protection Act of 2019. This is a big win for renters across the state and a sign of our collective power when we organize. So let's get into what the bill means for you. Number one, your landlord is no longer able to outrageously raise your rent. Rent increases are capped at 5% plus the cost of inflation. So roughly that's about seven or 8%. You may be thinking 8%, that's still too much. And it is. But before that, it was perfectly legal for your landlord to give you an 100% rent increase. And who the can afford that? Number two, after you've lived in your home for one year, your landlord cannot evict you without having a just cause. That means they can't just arbitrarily put you out to make more money. But they have to provide a reason, like significant damage to the property or failure to pay rent. Number three, the law goes into effect January 1st, 2020, but it retroactively covers rent increases given after March 15th, 2019. So if your rent was increased after March 15th, 2019, your landlord must decrease the rents so they meet the statewide cap. Do you live in a city that already has rent control? Don't worry, number four is for you. The Tenant Protection Act does not mess with your local rent control you get to keep the same good old renter protections that you've always had. Better yet, it will close some of the loopholes in your local rent control ordinances. Eight million renters who've never had rent control before will now be covered by this new law. That's a big deal, y'all, but there are some limitations. Here are some of the exemptions you should know about. Newer buildings less than 15 years old are not covered. Single family homes are only covered if the owner is a corporation. And if you live in a duplex and your landlord lives in one of the units, you're not covered. So is the Tenant Protection Act a silver bullet for the housing crisis? No, but here's what it is. Because of organizing and tenants flexing their power, we've won the largest expansion of renter protections in recent US history. What this teaches us is that when we organize, we can win. And just imagine how much more we can win if you join us. Join the movement.